Here it comes, ready? Here it comes, ready? RISE! Wait, can, wait a minute. Can I let you guys in on a little bit of a, of a secret? Actually, I don't know if I'm allowed to say this. Maybe I shouldn't say it. What's the worst that could happen? What are the odds a Blizzard employee is watching my stream right now? Would they get mad if I said this? Probably not, right? It should be fine. Yeah, I, guys, listen, I'm a cool kid. Okay, I've known about this way longer than you have. I'm just gonna go ahead and say it. I've known this for a, a while, and I didn't tell you. Get fucked, pussy. I made my own. Here it comes. Holy fuck, she can TP through walls. That's who I was thinking of. I was gonna say, when she says I, I run with blades all the time, I was like, who the fuck does she sound like? And it's Valkyrie from Apex. Run with blades all the time. That, I was like, who the fuck does that remind me of? Holy. The invulnerability and the, oh God. All right, this skin, I'll, I'll be honest, this skin is kind of sick. Oh my god, they're bringing back Drunkenstein's Revenge! Yes! Year 7, baby! Yes! The graphic at the bottom, what graphic? I my new Battle Pass system, TM. It's very original oh, and wait a minute. just greedy cash grab smile. Well, I didn't even pay attention. Wait a minute, it, it, it's... it's who, who do you normally play as? It's like you play as like Mercy, Torb, Smart. Cash, whatever. I can't believe they added a and now this one is what? Overwatch Junker Queen, Ash? I guess that's Kiriko, and who's this? Oh, Sojourn, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm taking this cube thing with me. And then Sombra? Girls, get it done! Wow. Very cool. Also, they got this big ass blog post that I haven't even looked at yet. One of our goals is to make sure our game provides plenty of entertainment, fun, and expression. Well, I'll tell you right now. It's been a while since I've experienced any of that. Battle Pass is free for everyone. You can. Oh, here we go. This is the meat. This is what everybody's pissed off about. Our goal is to make the game feel fair, enjoyable, and rewarding, whether you choose to spend money on the premium Battle Pass or not. Our team has worked hard to carefully craft not only the cosmetics you expect, but brand new cosmetic types. If the season features a new hero, they will be earnable through the free Battle Pass track. So, Miss. Kiriko is 55, is she? Season 1, everyone who logs into play will receive Junker Queen and Sojourner automatically whether their new players are returning. Players who own the original Overwatch will also receive Kiriko through their Founders Pack. Oh! Alright, listen dude, this is- this is- this is- I've talked about this before. Since the blog post is- is here, alright. I'll, 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 I'll keep it. I will give you guys the right opinion. You see all these other motherfuckers talking about the wrong opinion? Listen to me. I am the voice of reason, okay? There's no way that it would take that long. Okay, good, because he here's my logic. In my head, I'm thinking, right? The... The seasons are nine weeks long, right? You have a battle pass that's about nine weeks. They're saying prestiges take even longer to unlock than the normal battle pass. And they're giving out, they have rewards if you do it eight times. So there's no way it could take that long to progress through the battle pass, right? It's because it's only nine weeks. I mean, how long could it possibly take? We are to, wait, oh, wait, wait a minute. This is live leaks from a real Blizzard employee. What are the odds a Blizzard employee is watching my stream right now? We are tuning the battle pass to be completed by most players by season's end, not just the grinders like yourself. This is very interesting. <laughs> oh god. If you build new heroes and balance the existing cash for a new 5v5 PvP experience. How does comp work? They always release characters broken. What if you have a broke bitch on your team and you uh, get flattened because of it? <laughs> I don't know, tell him to get a job or something? I don't know. And he said something else, by the way. He said there's a huge segment of players who never play competitive. We have a lot of game data from both modes. Yeah, honestly, I honestly, I, I'm actually kind of shocked how fucking large the casual scene is for for Overwatch. Smart. I'm a little fucking mind boggled. Like, have you guys ever seen those Overwatch accounts where they're like a full max border and they have like 4,000 hours played of like Symmetra only in quick play? They've only played Symmetra and they've only played quick play, or like fucking Mercy. 
Or if they have played competitive, it was only to get the gold gun and then fuck right off back to quick play. 1,000 arcade hours, 500 server browser hours, two comp hours. Holy shit. Is this what sucking dick with I... foreskin is like? All right, so here's the burning question that everybody is giving their opinion on because they think people care is the battle pass is the big question is how do you feel about the character being on the the new character being on the battle pass how do i feel how do i feel i think it's cringe you can't play comp if you don't have all the characters where the fuck did we read that at? i made it the fuck up i think it's dumb that my nude mod i created gets me hardware and ip banned anyways i'm getting sidetracked how do I feel about characters being in the battle pass? In an ideal world, Smart. no character would be locked behind any sort of grind, right? However, this is not an ideal world. I do think it really depends on how long it takes to get tier 55 with the free battle pass. Those weekly challenges do seem like they give you a decent amount of XP. And I'm assuming it's not 10k XP for every tier. I'm assuming it progresses up. What if it's like 10 to 15 hours? If it's 10 to 15 hours, they already said so it's two weeks that the hero is locked and competitive. Assuming you have, what, one hour to play every day? You would still get the character before they were released in rank to begin with. It's 10k per? Where do you see 10k per? What the fuck is this? Am I about to get sued? Wait, wait, I didn't even read this at the bottom. Am I sued? Can you ask if that's a new map in the promo? Oh, yeah! Is this a new map? Or where the fuck is this? Is this Midtown Nighttime? What is this? This looks like a new map to me. <laughs> LeBron. <laughs> LeBron. <laughs> What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, my face is so red. Holy fuck. <laughs> All right, let me try and fit all my thoughts into a 60 second clip so that I, I can get posted everywhere and get lots of lots of traffic into my channel. Yeah, obviously in an ideal world, no character would be would be locked behind a paywall. However, this is not an ideal world. The game is going free to play now. And the truth is, the unfortunate truth is, the best incentive for money is a new character. I think more people would care more about a character than a skin you know that's just that's how it is obviously overwatch players are used to having Smart. every having every hero free but i think it ultimately depends on how long it takes to get to the free character but i do see some people are fucking pissed this thread has 426 comments i almost want to read this because i know people are going to be pissed you know what i got a better idea this shit cost $10 last night with a bunch of cosmetics. You may end up with six total battle passes per year. That's $60 per year when most AAA games are pushing 70. Do none of these people complain have jobs? Spend $60 on a weekend taking my girlfriend to a... Whoa, this guy... Whoa! This guy had to slip that in there, huh? Double if we get dinner and drink. <laughs> oh, shit. Meat by meat tornado love. You know, walk into a store and start bitching the staff that the items cost money. Lord, how spoiled some of these folks are. Downvote me if you want, but holy fuck, gamers are some broke ass bitches. If y'all are mad that about ten dollars you don't even have to spend, I'm gonna delete this. Sh Wait, you made this post? Ah, thanks, love. Wait, you I made spent this $60 post? On All right, delete it then, pussy. Got you I'll call your bluff. You made this post to get discussion going. I'll call your bluff. Delete it. I said delete it. Refresh. Damn.
Good thing I got two fucking tabs open, though. Wait, is this true? You can play the new hero in the training range in arcade games if you haven't unlocked them? Yes. Oh, I didn't even know that. There's a good one on the normal Overwatch subreddit. Hey, listen, man. I am not going to step foot in the normal Overwatch subreddit. I will not touch that place with a 10-foot pole. R slash Overwatch. Oh, here we go. 2,000 comments. Here we go. Sort by controversial. Here we go. At least put them at the first level so you have to play one game to unlock them. Okay. <laughs> How old is this person? Can I believe these greedy assholes are getting away with this? This is absolutely unacceptable. Grinding 55 fucking levels just to get a character in a competitive game? Not just any competitive game. And given their quiet switch between, between characters mid-game, I cannot believe that we are getting- we, That we are letting them get away with this. This thing stays in, Over, in, in Overwatch 2, I'm going to review bomb them. <laughs> Skin to customize sport your game find me. You break the very fucking core of this game because your greed knows no boundaries. Well, F you, here's your negative review. If they show the middle finger to my face, I'm gonna show it back. Simple as that. Holy fuck, I should do this more often. She's so cool. <laughs> She's so cool though. She didn't mind about boycotting. I'll pay $80 just for this character alone. Do you know how dictators are born? People let their king do whatever he wants to do. And though I understand that my anger makes you laugh, but this is the only thing I can do, sadly. I am just one man. I am tiny and unimportant, but I won't let anyone to shit on me like that. I want to act out a play session with me taking the dominant role and you the submissive. Yes! Finally! I bought Overwatch three months ago for full price, and I just went a couple weeks ago after leaving the game I bought to include a battle pass. I feel scammed. I absolutely despise games with something like this, and when I first bought the game, I was so glad I had every character available. But there's a bug on my wall. I have to slaughter it. Got his ass! I hope the asshole corporal defender on Twitter who defended this shit and got so upset while I was nothing but polite in my arguments until he blocked me just to call me a clown afterwards like a coward so I couldn't respond sees this and takes the greedy ass battle pass with a smile on their face and never once complains about it. Wow. I still feel like some sort of lawsuit could be taken to Blizzard for upgrading Overwatch to Overwatch 2. I bought a watch and can no longer play it because it doesn't exist anymore. Not the product I paid for, therefore, I have been scammed. <laughs> yes, but when games update, they don't, they don't say it's- oh, they have, It's got 13 upvotes. And he made a throwaway account for it? What a gigantic pussy. When games update, they don't say it's now the second in the series. They create a new product and release it when they want a second game in the series. Maybe I'm crazy, but I can't think of another game that's updated it's the starting game to the second of the series. Completely different game now. Well, I mean, completely different. A little bit of a stretch, but... Half as people got shoved in the lockers in high school? <laughs> this is fucking top-tier entertainment. Why haven't I done this sooner? Fucking absurd seems the 4chan leak was indeed correct. Sad. I have not been paying attention to our two at all, but I just don't see how this is a benefit to the game. I didn't even pay attention to what you said. I'm thinking more total, but I just don't see how this is a benefit to the game. I don't really care because I figured I'll get the character anyway, but do you see this as a good thing? The, the truth is, again, in an ideal world, you don't have to pay for anything. Everything's free. But this is not an ideal world. And for a free-to-play game to be able to maintain their production, there has to be money somewhere. Honestly, they should have just played ads in the queues. No, honestly, I want to see a game get creative. Like, you guys know on Hollywood, like, the billboards that are out front of the attacker's spawn. Why don't they just, like, fucking slap a Coca-Cola ad up there or something? Or slap, like, a fucking Beats by Dre ad, you know what I mean? Maybe I'm just weird, but to me, that would just be fucking- That just adds the immersion to me. If I'm playing on Hollywood and I see, like, a Coca-Cola sign, I'm like, oh shit, what the fuck? <sighs> Fine, I guess you are my little pog champ. Come here. Come here. What is this damn blizzard holding back? It's not looking good, and he links Star Wars Battlefront. Oh, this was a fucking- I forgot about this. The most downvoted post ever on Reddit. There's no sh- Okay, listen. You can have whatever thoughts you want on the Overwatch 2 Battle Pass, but comparing that to this fucking Battlefront game 
You, they are not even, you can't even, that's not even close. So just, wait, can I still downvote? Oh, that's smart for me. Gotta contribute. I'm doing my part.